Alrighty, what's up everybody? Peter Gilmer here for another video right here on Metal God 669. Thank you all for watching. Make sure, make sure you like the video and subscribe. And thank you for all the support and everything else. I'm not going to go through all that bullshit that I usually do. So I'm going to make it short and sweet this time. So thank you for watching on the Metal God channel on this Monday evening March the 6th, 2023. Hope you all had a great weekend and a great Monday. I had a pretty rough weekend, and today it started off pretty good, and then the last hour or so, uh, I, I've, been a, I've been a wreck. I've been a humongous wreck. Um, I'll get to that part in a minute. But we do have another death in the music realm. And a prominent guitarist from the 70s, a classic rock guitarist from one of the a pretty damn good band named Leonard Skinner. And for those of you who don't know, yesterday we lost Gary Rosington, the uh, founding, one of the founding members of Leonard Skinner, along with... Uh, with Ronnie Van Zandt and all the other guys in that great band named Leonard Skinner's Innards. But, yeah, Gary Rosington passed away yesterday at the age of 71. Uh, his health wasn't in great, great shape, and tragically, he passed away yesterday. Like I said, a prominent guitar player, um, one, of the member, one of the founding members of Leonard Skinner, and... Um, a, gr a great man, a great guitarist. I mean, if you haven't heard Freebird, I mean, he he plays the lead part on Freebird, but he wrote free, well, he wrote with R Ronnie Freebird. Uh, he also wrote some good good classic Leonard Skinner songs like like Give Me Three Steps and Ooh That Smell, which is the Trolls theme song, by the way, because um, they smell and. And other hits, you know, uh, Sweet Home Alabama. And a whole bunch of other hits. Uh, but, you know, him and the rest of Leonard Skinner have gone through so, many, so much trials and tribulations. Deaths. You know, the, the plane crash hap uh, that happened in the late in the 70s, which killed Ronnie Van Zandt. And uh, one of the other guitar players... And a couple of band members as well. And uh, Gary somehow survived the crash along with uh, uh, Artemis Pyle, the drummer. I don't even know if he's alive any anymore, but... Uh, and the, and the, the keyboardist, the, core, uh, the keyboardist, and um, one of the other guitarists who uh, survived. But then later on, uh, complications from that and other things uh, they killed him later on. And then the piano player... Passed away a few years ago, and now Gary Rosington, the final actual surviving member of Leonard Skinner, passed away. And uh, you know, all the all the great artists came out yesterday on Twitter, like John Five, Nikki Six, um, so many others came out to pay respects to Ron, uh, to uh, excuse me, Gary, who also had a side project of uh, Rosington. Uh, Rosington Collins band with the other guitarists. They had a little side project. They had a couple albums that was pretty good. But, you know, a legend like Gary Rosington now playing Freebird in Heaven with Ronnie Van Zandt and all those great people up in that concert hall in the sky. So, very tragic day yesterday uh, that uh, lost another classic rock legendary guitar player um i don't know where leonard skinner is going to go from here they did issue a statement uh paying respects to gary and and everything i think they were gonna they're gonna continue but you know not you know they're still leonard skinner but not the original leonard skinner because you know there's no original members and that was basically friends or other musicians filling in the roles and everything but I wouldn't be surprised if they just call it quits because, you know, 
basically, you know, all the survivor members are dead. And now it's basically a nostalgic act with uh, Ronnie's brother, who's not a, a great singer in himself. Um, and all the and the guys and the girls, who are the backup singers, uh, that are continuing on the tradition of that southern classic rock and roll. You know, playing Freebird and Ooh, that smell. You know. Probably one of my favorites, next to Sweet Home Alabama, of course, and Freebird. Uh, but I don't know what the band is going to do now, but we'll see what happens with that. So, uh, my thoughts and prayers go out to Gary Rosenting and his family. Uh, passed away yesterday at the age of 71. So, my thoughts and prayers go out to him. Uh, but in the last hour... I have been crying, and I'm really crushed uh, that I got the news um, on the, on my Instagram page. Actually, I uh, found out from um, one of my good fr good friends, Turbo, uh, on Instagram. He does a uh, who uh, he doesn't he's not doing it anymore, but he did a uh, a heavy metal show on both. Uh, uh, Bull Spike Radio, I think it was called. But, in any event. Uh, I went to school with him. And everything. Uh, but, I found out the news that his brother has passed away. Uh, he was known as Jay Scorpion. And he tragically passed away uh, yesterday, uh, yes, as well yesterday at the age of 35. Uh, oh, man. I can't believe he's dead. I can't. I mean, there, there's certain people that they're in your life, and then, you know, you, you hang out with them, and you've been buddies for like 20, 30, 40 years, all your life, and then next thing you know, you know, they're in good health, or somewhat good health, and then next thing you know, they're dead. And you're like, what? You know, like Tiffany Hale, remember when I found out the news that she died? I was all heartbroken with that. And even with Daphne, when, you know, I got the news from General Jerry that she passed away two, almost two years ago. That really shook me up. And But this one kind of hurts because I went to school with the kid. And very knowledgeable guy. We talked about wrestling, music, especially heavy metal. You know, I got him into, into this moment. And I got him everything. I actually was um, his mentor, actually, because I got him his radio show on Brooklyn College Radio back in the day. And then he went, and from there he went to uh, um, Bull Spike Radio, and had a very successful um, radio radio career there with his brother Turbo. Very well known. They got a lot of um, you know, a lot of um, musicians on their show, uh, and uh, you know, found new bands and everything like I used to do. So I kind of. Pass the torch to them and everything. So. But, you know, great kid. And, you know, he had sp uh, a spine disease that he was, uh, you know, just just a really bad spine disease. He was, you know, confined to a wheelchair. And you know, later on, he had some problems with his throat and everything. They had to put a tube down his throat and it was just nasty stuff. I can't really get into much of it because I don't want, you know, piss off Turbo and everything, but. I want it. I'm not doing it. It's not a it, you know memorial show. It's just a you know a tribute kind of thing. But you know, I'll t if, if you know if he sees it and he wants me to take it down, I'll take it down. But I just wanted to do it because I I'm so heartbroken by the loss of my good friend, my good friend G Scorpion, and um, it hurts. It hurts when you lose somebody that you grew up with from college, and you know. You know, I, I met him in college, and then, you know, I had him on my show, and I, uh, me and another friend of mine basically mentored him, showed him how to run the boards, how to answer the phones and do this and that. And he was very good, had a great radio show, next to mine, of course. Um, and then he branched off. I retired, <laughs> but I hate, you know, I had to because, you know, you know, I would have done, you know, podcast radio, like, you know, you know, online stuff, you know, playing radio, playing songs and having, 
bands and like like in this moment or Ash Costello come on my show and stuff like that. But really, with my work schedule, I couldn't really do all that. So it sucks. I miss it a lot. But but you know, I used to I you know with, with with Josh and Turbo, I used to listen to their shows every week. You know, they it was on a Tuesday night. You know, I would get a I would get a message on my on my my Facebook saying, "Hey, my show's going on." I'm like, "Yeah, I got to put on Boost my radio. This is those those uh, great tunes. Sonic Pump, Plastic Block and Roll all the time, every Tuesday and and um I don't I forgot what Turbo's was. I think it was Thursday. Tuesday, I think it was Tuesday and Thursday night. Great shit. Yep, they. They would occasionally play in this moment, which kind of pissed me off, but, you know. But, there's all the good stuff they play, which made me happy, so it is what it is. So, but, you know, I went, I, I saw WrestleMania, uh, what was it? There was WrestleMania 25, I went to his house, and there was 25 when Ric Flair uh, fought Shawn Michaels. I think it was 24, 25, uh, went to his house. We had a good time, watched WrestleMania, and um, pretty much it. He's, he was on my radio show a couple of times with my ex-girlfriend, Ashley Marie, at the time. Um, he would occasionally call in once in a while, but, you know, he had his own thing. But great kid, great kid. Uh, you know, he's one of the, uh, he was on um, the Jerry Lewis Telethon a couple of times with his brother, and... Um, because he had mus a muscular dystrophy, I think, something like that, as well. And it's a shame that he has passed on, and I am hurt. I'm crushed right now. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to be a pussy, but, you know, because I don't want to do that. You know, I'm going to keep my emotions in check. But he's a good kid. He was a good kid. And it hurts, it hurts me to even do this video right now that I have to do it, because one of my... He's not one of my, my best friends, per se, but he, I've, I was good friends with him for a couple of years, and then, you know, he went his way, I went mine, but we always kept in communi some somewhat good communication with music and everything when he would do his shows, like, hey, play some In This Moment, play some Ozzy, you know, something like that. Oh, you know, he, he would, uh, me and him on Facebook, we would, you know, chit chat here and there, and uh, talk about wrestling here and there. But, you know, so it's sad, and now... You know, Turbo has to pull up the fort now, and he's kind of ending his his radio career. He wants to do other things, so I support that and everything. But man, I can't believe he's dead. I can't believe he he's passed on. And uh, like I always say, ladies and gentlemen, life is precious. We don't know when our last day could be. We always have to praise God and you know thank Him for waking us up. In the morning, you know, to see another day, whether it be good or bad, you know, we don't know when our when our time will come. It could be today, it could be tomorrow, it could be the ne it could be the next day, next week, next month, ten years from now, 20, 30, 40, 50 years from now. I mean, we don't know. You know, the only man that knows is the man upstairs. That's that's Jesus Christ, the Lord. You know, the big man upstairs. He he has our number. You know, because we don't have that clock, that countdown clock or over our heads. So like in that Saving Me video by Nickelback. I wish we did so we could know when we're dead. We're going to die, but, you know, we don't know. It just comes on because it comes all of a sudden. You know, you, you're in good health, and then next thing you know, you're dead. Out, out of the blue, you're dead. I'm like, you, I just saw him yesterday. He was fine. You know? Like the like the snap snap of your finger snap your fingers and you're dead and, you know it's just sad you said that all these people are dying at a young uh, at a young age you know this kid was 35 years old I'm 46 you know I, I have problems too but you know but you know he he had an emergency yet uh, yesterday. And it took him to the, the EMTs came and really couldn't do anything for him. And he passed away. It sucks. So my thoughts and prayers go out to uh, Turbo and his family. And um, 
That's it, man. I, I can't. I can't anymore. So I'm going to end it here. So my good friend, Josh J. Scorpion, like I always do on my Rest in Peace tribute videos, and to Gary Rosington, rest in peace, my brothers, and I hope to see you when I see you, which won't be anytime soon, hopefully, but, you know, maybe the next 40, 45 years, 50 years, maybe, but... Like I said, we don't know when we're going to go, but hopefully it won't be too soon for me, but it is what it is. So to so Gary Rosington and to my good friend Josh J. Scorpion, rock on and rock hard with your cocks out in heaven, and cheers. That's it, man. That's it. So, very, very, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, very hard, um, it's been a really bad last couple of hours. Really, at last hour and a half, I've been thinking about Josh and everything. And it hurts, you know. I was crying a little bit off air and everything. But I'm trying not to cry again. <laughs> but you can, you can, you know, hear my voice is cracking a little bit. But, you know. But the kid was so great, you know. And, you know. You know, seeing seeing the uh, the Instagram post and the Facebook post kind of like shook me up. I'm like, what? Shock, you know. But it is what it is. So that's all I gotta say about that. Thank you all for watching. And uh, like I said again, rock on and rock hard with your cuck out. And take take each day as it comes, because we never know when it could be our last. So that's all I gotta say. Gary Rosington, rest in peace, my brother. Play Freebird on a constant loop in heaven. And to my good friend Josh, you're a good kid. You're a good friend of mine. And um, hopefully one day when I get there, I'll see you. We'll talk, we'll talk about some heavy metal. And we'll, maybe we'll play some Isley Brothers tunes or something like that. I don't know. But when I get there, we'll talk about some metal. And we'll have a good old time in that concert hall in the sky. But, you know, that's it. So... Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Peter Gilmore signing off. Live life to the fullest because you never know. You never know. And uh, praise be to God and praise be to all you people out there, well, most of you. Um, and um, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. Peace out and rock on.